All right, so my name is Melissa Barr. I'm a technical program manager for the machine learning and artificial intelligence teams at Uber. And I am a big fan of green tea, not as much coffee. Hey, hey I'm, I'm Michael. I'm an engineering manager at Uber AI. And um, the way I like my coffee is probably chai latte with a side of waffle. So I consider waffle as coffee. So, yeah. But there is one thing that I think is fascinating with this that is around the idea of someone who creates a feature and then they can create a module or a course on how to use that feature or what that feature is which i think it doesn't matter what your if you have your own platform or if you're using someone else's platform that kind of thing is still super useful and it is very company specific so that yep. education and really having that education in your blood in in the DNA of the company is is super cool to think about. Yeah, I think just adding on to some of the points here is um, I, I think the ultimate goal here is to reduce the friction for someone who have external knowledges uh, and map it into the internal ecosystem, right? In terms of feature sets and tool sets. Uh, and we want to promote some kind of like distributed innovation kind of like cycle where Everyone can be leveraging the same thing, building on top of it, and over time provide some kind of feedback so that we can build more things that people can kind of build on top of that. So I think um, I think I I definitely agree. Like you know, there's definitely like a it's definitely like a there's like some kind of timing thing that we have to think about in terms of whether there's enough complexity that warrants the additional overhead of having these program. But I think like that just means that I, I would say like the program should exist in some form, just like how documentation should exist in some form. Uh, and, yeah. and the, the the program can scale uh, as the complexity of the of the organization grows as well, right? So, and in the beginning, it could be so as simple as like, okay, I'm leveraging it mostly third party, but still, I think people have like a set of like models they develop, a set of best practices that they say, oh, I have to transfer this this part of my data into a different cluster within AWS, and I, how do I kind of do that? They all start with some kind of documentation, best practices. But over time, as it becomes more complicated, we'll be building additional feature that's maintained on a, a cloud, cloud provider. Then we start to kind of see, you know, some, as some some something that we have here, right? Which is like infra team that requires feedback and requires like fast iteration of like their features. And there's like a, a lot of practitioners using these features and kind of kind of formulate that their flywheel back again. So, yep. Hundred hundred percent agree with Michael. This this blog post, the goal of it was kind of to show the different components that could be like plug and play and picked out for different companies. It's, it's not a one size fits all. So it's definitely customizable.